And we have breaking news tonight. Hate in Yolo County, a drag show at a woodland bar celebrating the end of pride disrupted after a group showed up yelling homophobic slurs and threatening safety. The owner of that bar had canceled the event earlier today due to safety concerns, but decided to go on with it after a huge show of support from the community. Yeah, this was happening at the Mojo's Lounge and Bar right off of Main Street. Case Harry 3's Leanne Denyer was there when the group arrived. Yelling slurs and threatening the people inside Mojo's Bar and Lounge in Woodland. A group of antagonizers showing up outside what was, then wasn't, then was again a drag event celebrating the end of June, Pride Month. It was an altercation. Um, obviously, some people were here upset about the, the bar having their Pride event. Um, we tried to intervene as quickly as we could. Um, it was a pretty chaotic scene. The show was initially canceled after the owner of the bar says word was picked up by a hateful group on TikTok. But after so much support from the community, organizers put together a scaled down version of the event, a drag show, and plans to hold another soon. Oh, there were kind of rumors that things were brewing on Main Street, but there was obviously a presence by the Woodland Police Department, um, so that made us feel more comfortable. Um, and then it just it escalated pretty quickly. As the group yelled outside, patrons waited as police surrounded the bar. Our main priority was to get a safe scene and then make sure anybody who needed help got the help that they needed and then we'll, we'll work on the investigation. The group ultimately left on its own. Police say they're still working to identify exactly who they were. Because this really was a positive event and everybody was having a great time. So I think most most people were angry, but I would say resilient. This is not this is something that the city of Woodland wants. You know, that's not what the city of Woodland's about. In Woodland, Leon Denier, KCRA 3 News.